So Travis Scott just dropped his new song, K-Pop, featuring Bad Bunny and The Weeknd. Might be our first taste of Utopia. And we're going to let you guys know what our first thoughts are on this song in a bit. But if you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Because we will be doing our first thoughts video on Utopia once it drops, as well as our album review. So we're in Miami right now doing this. And uh, yeah, but what do you think of the song? I think it's awesome just to see him explore with a different type of sound. Um, and also just understand where he's at with Utopia. Just I do have a nick with it, though, and I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, I do like the song. I think it's high quality. I do feel like everything was perfect as far as all three performances from Bad Bunny, um, from The Weeknd, and from Travis. Um, you get this really nice sort of like dance, um, Afrobeat sort of production that gets you in a nice groove. Do you feel like it's a bit basic for Travis, though? Is it basic? I mean, I guess the closest thing to this is probably guidance off of birds. That's what it's reminding exactly. everybody of right now. But I just think that, you know, he's trying to have his next sickle mode with this. You know what I mean? It's a dance hall, Afro beats type of track that appeals to a lot of people. My biggest issue is that, like, Travis was so not present on this in the sense that, like, this is a huge comeback single. Lead single for your album after waiting for five years. And we barely get a fully fleshed out verse. We get a short hook and like one verse at the beginning and you have an extended Bad Bunny part in the weekend also having a pretty lengthy verse. I feel like Travis was almost like just playing a super minimal role in his own song. I understand that. I don't feel like it affected the song, though. I would have liked to hear more from him, especially for a release single. I will say that. But for the most part, though, the song itself is not the issue. It's just that this is kind of the entrance into the utopia and it's... It feels, for, it, it feels like a forgettable song. Like, there's nothing wrong with a song per se, but it just felt a bit boring to me. And I don't know what it is, but it's just like even the Travis Scott hums, I feel like that wasn't a great transition um, going into the weekend's part. I feel like that section of the song kind of dragged out a bit too much for me. But what do you think about the production? Because you had Benny X, you had Boy Wanda, Il Angelo, and I believe Jahan Sweet on there. Oh, and I, I love the Afro drums. Yeah, the drums were fire. Yeah, it was fantastic. I had no problem with the production. That wasn't my issue. It was just maybe more like what my expectations were yeah. for Utopia and this being the lead single. But the song itself was well put together and I had no problem with the Travis Scott part. I feel like he did his thing and he wasn't overbearing on the track. How did you feel about Bad Bunny though? Because I remember we were talking about this on Twitter maybe a couple of months ago where Bad Bunny was seen with the briefcase and people were like speculating, hey, is he going to be making the album? And of course, now we officially know that he's going to be a part of this process. How do you feel like he did on the song? And do you feel like he was able to match up next to The weekend and Travis? Yeah, he did pretty well. I mean, it was a standard Bad Bunny verse. Didn't understand much of it, obviously, but it was a vibe. The melodies he was hitting were pretty nice. Um, apart from that, The weekend had a decent performance. I don't know why he decided to diss the Audi. I found that was random. You, you thought that was a diss, though? I, I, I think he's just being playful. I don't think it's a serious yeah, diss or anything. Not, no, for sure not. Um, but yeah, all that to say, I think that if this is going to be where Utopia takes us, we're going to have a lot of questions because it's a very interesting route. But maybe that's the whole point is to have a bunch of different aesthetics, sounds, styles, genres all bleeding into this. But I wouldn't be mad if this isn't on Utopia. I think obviously it will be because it's going to be probably a huge hit. But... How do you feel like this is going to play into the Utopia vibe as a whole? Because stargazing yeah. perfectly set up what Astroworld was going to be. No, I completely agree with you. I also think when you look at, let's say, what stargazing did or what Sickle Mode did as singles for the album, the unpredictability factor of those tracks really drove the excitement for the fan. Now, you get something like this that feels a bit predictable. Um, it feels like a, a big hit attempt. Um, it's a well-put-together song, but you understand what's going on behind it. Yes, Sicko Mode is a diamond track, but you have three beat switches in there. You know, you had a surprise Drake feature that took everyone by storm. You know, you get Travis rapping his ass off on the actual track yeah. itself, and that's a good song. You know, that deserves to do what it does. You can't replicate that. You can. So, I guess you could say, yeah, Sicko Mode too, but it's nowhere near the same thing. Or no. no, I don't even think the intent is the same thing. I, I just, I feel like... Yes, they're probably going for that smash summer hit. It'll probably do uh, well on the charts. Yeah. It'll probably do super well on streaming. But is it going to be the most memorable Travis Scott song? No. Is it probably the song that the fans wanted to hear? Probably not. And I mean, yes, it's still quality. It's still good. Like, I'm probably going to be like bumping this over the entire weekend. Yeah. But how does that lead you into utopia now into the experience and like how does that alter your expectations a bit it, it definitely alters it i mean it's just we're not starting off with a fucking bang bro 
I wanted something that was going to be high energy, something that would be hype maybe. Um, but we just didn't get that. But listen, guys, we'll see what we end up getting for Utopia, which could be dropping next week. And as we mentioned earlier, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we will be doing more content on this, such as a first thoughts video, an album review, and a live album reaction on Patreon the night that it comes out with our entire community. Link to that in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.